everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper, and today's Entertainment Rundown is a double feature. We've got a review of a film called Measure for Measure, and also a review of a second film called Critical Thinking. And so we're going to give you both of those, a double header today. Measure for Measure, that's the title of a William Shakespeare play, and this film is loosely based on that. Now, I haven't, you know, read Measure for Measure or what been associated with it or even been familiar with it for many, 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 many years. So when it said it was loosely based on that play by Shakespeare, it didn't mean a thing to me. I was seeing it fresh and maybe students of Shakespeare can get the connections. But this film takes place in Australia. It takes uh, around a, like a condo complex where a variety of people live and there's an incident outside of that building uh, that results in a tragedy, and a, a boy and a girl witness the tragedy, and they don't know each other, but they become acquainted. Uh, she is she is Muslim, Muslim he's Catholic. Uh, they fall in love, and of course her family does not approve at all and her brother is into some shady dealings and so he you know decides that he will exert his power and influence and whatever actions necessary to break them up and make sure that they never get back together again the boy has no powerful criminal connections per se but he does have uh, a knowledge of a man who does have some power in the community and uh, you know is, you know, is, is equal to the power of, of the, the girl's brother and he is played by Hugo Weaving he's an actor that I have seen before I, nobody else in the movie was familiar to me but this film is it's a good little love story you know between the Muslim girl and the Catholic boy it's got you know a good plot of, of this uh, you know, the control of power. It's kind of got a Romeo and Juliet theme and the families do not, you know, not want them to be together. Uh, in addition to Hugo Weaving, the, the actors are Megan Smart, who plays the girl, Harrison Gilbertson plays the boy, and then Mark Leonard Winter is the second in command of the man that the boy goes to for help. You, you stumble onto these movies and you you don't know what you're getting in them, but this one this one kept me entertained. I was interested in the characters. I wanted to see, you know, what was going to happen, you know, here and there, and it it all came together. It's not rated, but it would probably earn uh, an R because it's got profanity and it's got violence. And I scored it six out of ten. I bumped it up. Uh, you know, a step above average because it it held my interest. It wasn't the greatest movie I've ever seen. You know, I'm not going to go back and watch it again. I'm not going to go out and read William Shakespeare's play or whatever. But for the time that I was watching it, I was entertained and I was interested all the way through to the end. And it, you know, stay right with it to the end if you watch it because it's got a scene right at the end uh, that you didn't expect. So, Reach down there, hit the subscriber button, come on board. We've got a lot of these movies to you know, tell you about. And the next one we're going to tell you about is the film Critical Thinking. Now, this is a movie, if you're familiar with the Sidney Poitier movie, To Serve With Love, and then there was another movie called Stand and Deliver, which was about a teacher and students. These are always popular. And Critical Thinking is based on a true story. And it takes place at a school in Miami, Florida called Miami Jackson High School. And John Leguizamo plays a, a teacher in that school named you know, Mr. Martinez. And he has a class that's an elective which teaches chess. And the kids who attend this school are kids who do not have money. They are in, in some bad situations in their home lives, but he gives them an outlet of safety 
by this class where they can gather and he teaches them all aspects of chess, but he also teaches it to them in a way that they learn life lessons from it. And the school uh, district does, you know, does not encourage this. They're, you know, the, the, the principal uh, who is played by Rachel Bay James, Jones, excuse me, Rachel Bay Jones, and she's very good in the role of the principal, but she doesn't have the money to, you know, devote to this chess team, even then when they want to enter a competition. And he gets them all excited about it. There's a citywide competition. If they win at city, then they'll go to state. If they win at state, they would go to nationals. But of course, that's out of the question. There's just nothing, you know, that indicates that they will have this caliber of persons. Plus, even the four people who are the best players on the team have problems in their personal lives, you know, at home, which keeps them from, a, you know, even being able to attend classes on a regular basis. So you, you know, you've got those obstacles. But John Leguizamo, he's an actor you've seen in, in numerous movies. He can play comedy parts, he can play serious parts, but he really throws himself into this role of this guy, you know, who just wants to teach these kids to be a, a safe haven for these kids. Uh, he, he's constantly fighting with the principal about not, you know, not giving him, you know, raising the funds or providing the funds for the kids to go to this citywide, you know, chess competition. And their conflict is there. She wants to do things, but she doesn't have the budget to do it. And of course, you know, one of the things they say, you know, the chess team is just not as important as the football team in that age old story. So, you know, that's, that's the conflict is there. It has a lot of scenes of playing chess, and to me, I don't know anything about chess much, but watching chess is like watching grass grow. It's, it's just not, you know, oh my gosh, what's his next move going to be? Because when he makes the next move, I don't know what the impact of that is. But, you know, that, that's just an integral part of the story, though. It's the overall picture that is good. The, the movie's not rated. It probably are rated because there's a lot of profanity in it. But I scored it 6 out of 10. I bumped it up above average, and I, you know, had a good time with it. I really did. So it's another movie that I didn't expect that much, but it, it delivered. And I like movies about teachers and students, and especially like this one. This is a true story, and they show the real people at the end, you know, that type of thing. I like that. So hit the subscriber button. Come on and be with us for all these movie reviews. And for today, this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with reviews of Measure for Measure and Critical Thinking.